So after many nights of bad decisions and even worse memory in the beautiful and vibrant nightlife of Toronto, I'd always end up at Apache Burger where I'd go to binge and try to end the night on a positive note. And for these reasons, I'm going to visit them today and give them a review. Also guys, I wanted to welcome you back to the channel. I only meant to take a few weeks off of cooking videos, but with some procrastination that ended up turning into 10 months. I'm still going to be making cooking videos from time to time, but I'm going to be focusing on food reviews a little bit because they don't take as much time to make and it's also less expensive. I'm not sure where you're watching from, but inflation's gotten pretty bad here in Canada. Thanks B. But during this time, I still pursued my very unlucrative but successful career as a local food guide employed by Google. Now, I'm getting very hungry and I have to film this video before my girlfriend comes or else I'm going to have to pay double for everything. So let's go. So I feel like a lot of the mid-sized YouTubers review too many restaurants at once. So for these reasons, I'm going to stick to one review per video. This way, restaurants get the recognition they deserve and it'll give us the chance to go a lot deeper. And I'll be using the same layout that my company does. We'll be looking at things like food, service, vibe, and other things I'll mention like parking, cleanliness, price per person. And of course, I'm going to add my own final review at the end, which is important for me not to only climb the corporate ladder, but help these restaurants really improve. The same way you guys do for me all the time. Oh, I love you back. So Apache is located on the west side of Toronto in the suburbs of Etobicoke. In terms of location, it's perfectly placed for me as it's right beside the subway station, which made it super clutch coming from the downtown core. And these were the days before Uber. So not only could I find a suitable mating partner, but I couldn't even find a cab to save my life. Even the cab drivers got more action than I did, but I could at least rely on a cheap and safe way to get home. So get off my truck! So Apache became a front in 1969, replacing a place called Mellow's Ice Cream. Now I couldn't find anything else on Mellow's Ice Cream. I mean, the picture's black and white, but ever since since then it's been run by the same family which is the beachy family started by two brothers from greece and now it's being taken over by the daughter so being around for so many years i guess they must be doing something right so they've got a 4.3 out of 5 star rating which is pretty good i mean they've got over 3,000 reviews now if we analyze a couple we can see one was left here by one of my colleagues hassan looks like he had the best time of his life here leaving a very professional and positive review but he also mentioned they taste the same as they did when they first opened 55 years ago which seems a little sus but anyways looking at a bad review here looks like Susie had a completely opposite experience. Literally nothing went right for her. She even mentioned the garbage can was hard to open. But in the end, I will make the final judgment and determine their fate. Looks like the owner's here today, so the food must be on point. I mean, I've been coming here since a teenager and somehow they're always able to upgrade to the latest S63 AMG. So they must move a lot of burgers. But I mean, then again, it'd probably be more suspicious if they were driving like a 98 Volvo. So I'm probably just tripping. Shit, man, was I banned from here before? Now I can't remember, to be honest. So as soon as you walk in, you are hit with this amazing smell. And it almost instantly instantly triggers the Proust effect, reminding me of all the past trauma that I've experienced before coming here. Now conveniently right beside the line you can see there's an ATM machine, which obviously implies that they're cash only. So right away I'm gonna remove one star from them because it's almost 2025, nobody carries cash anymore, I have to literally go to the bank, pull out cash just to come and eat here. And to be honest I don't even think Gen Z knows how to use cash. However being cash only is a way to save on tax, and that's probably why they have that S63 AMG outside, so I'll give that star back for now just for being smart. Anyways guys I'm about to order, give me one sec. I'll get an Apache burger. I'll get onion rings. And I'll get a poutine. Okay, so from the burger menu, I ordered the Apache burger, which is basically just a double cheeseburger. They also have the twin cheeseburger, which is two patties and one cheese, which could be confusing for a lot of people. The banquet burger is a cheeseburger with bacon on it. And you can see here, they also have a steak and a Kaiser. I mean, I couldn't really find any pictures of it. And it's $12, so I'm gonna assume it's pretty crap. You've got grilled chicken warlocks on a bun, which also doesn't look too appetizing on the pictures. Um, some people complain it's dry, so I'm not even gonna bother trying that. Nobody really cares about a veggie burger. They got the glizzy, as you can see. I mean, you can go to any hot dog stand in the city and just get a better sausage so now moving on to the sides and beverages so order the legendary onion rings which are homemade and something that they're actually very known for i didn't order any fries because i got a poutine i'm not going to entertain the chicken strips because they're probably frozen and store-bought and everything else is just extras if you want to be fat i feel like it's a little bit weird that they have tomatoes as a side not sure who would ever order just tomatoes on the side but anyway and from the beverage menu you see they have milkshakes and they also have this grape drink which actually has a lot of good reviews so i'm kind of kicking myself for not getting it they eat even sell it by the jug if you want to take some home. But anyways, as we wait for the burger artist, I'll show you some of the famous people that have been here. Got some famous hockey players. There's Danny Green, who helped us win a championship when he was playing for the Raptors. And even Kendrick Lamar, who recently violated Drake. Then he came down to Apache Burger to have a meal. Like, that's pretty cold, not gonna lie. Okay, after a few minutes, it's our turn to put the burger together. As you can see, they use kind of like a Harvey style. It's very interactive. One thing I like about this is that you can never really screw up the toppings because they put it on in front of you. One downfall, though, is that if they put like one pickle on your burger or 
like three pieces of onions you kind of have to ask them again and it's a little bit awkward all the employees also have this deadpan stare so there aren't any smiles they're very monotone which i mean i don't mind too much they almost caught me filming here they got a very nice tile mosaic here of marilyn monroe this is a ketchup dispenser here's a view of the dining room it's like a 50s 60s diner style vibe so in terms of cleanliness it's pretty clean there's no gums under the table that's usually a sign that you know they care a bit more here you can see from their logo that they're honoring the apache which were the native indians of america the native indians here in canada were also known as the ingenious people and it's unfortunate they had their land taken from them 150 years ago but on a more positive note it looks like indians are bouncing back strong here in canada and taking back some land so that's at least nice to see good job bro all right we got a burger and the prost effect is still in full effect so i gotta get out of here of course you always want to check your order before you go now since i'm not getting anything for my girlfriend today i'm not gonna eat any of the fries or onion rings like if you're the one to go out and pick up the food like you're entitled to five to ten percent of the fries and as soon as you get home just complain how they gave you so much less fries this time all right everything looks good so it's time to move on to my favorite part <laughs> So the burger, fries, and poutine sent me back about 30 bucks, which I mean is pretty standard. I did say at the beginning of the video that doing food reviews might be cheaper, but I'm, I think I'm gonna have to take that back, especially if the wife, he wants to tag along for a lot of these reviews. Just gonna set up some condiments here and then it's time to give it a try. So as you know, I've been here before and in the past, these were the best onion rings I've ever had. So right away, I can feel that they're a little bit squishier than I remember. You see this little crispy corner here? This is basically how it should be all around the ring. Even looking at some of these pictures, you can see that the whole onion ring is crisp. So after tasting it, I'm I'm gonna guess it's a little bit undercooked the batter tastes good but there's not a whole lot of onion in it i do prefer this kind of batter though instead of the crispy ones i think it makes for a better onion ring just a little unfortunate though but um i'll have to give them three out of five stars for this one now moving on to the burger being the fatty that i am i'm gonna scrape the cheese off this wrapping first looks like they forgot to put my tomato in let's give it a try it's really hard to say this because they've been saving me from alcohol poisoning for many many years but the burger's mediocre at best you taste a little bit of the flame grill which is probably the only thing it has going for it but you can tell that the burger is frozen and not freshly made maybe 10 to 15 years ago they could have got away with this but the burger game's been up so high recently you've got so many burger joints in the area and they all grind their beef daily price point is similar and it just tastes better you know why would i come here when i can't even pay with cash and buy a burger that's been frozen before rather than a burger that's freshly ground every day from cows that have even eaten grass for their whole life for crying out loud so for these reasons i can't give them more than a three star rating <laughs> i wonder if being intoxicated had anything to do with making it look and taste better than it usually does must be the same for the burgers too then so i've been so distracted by these rings that i forgot to even put one in the burger that's actually a really good food hack doesn't seem like anything is going right for me I'm starting to feel like that chick who couldn't open the garbage can at apache burger luckily i have a good air fryer where i can just warm up the rings but this is how they should be Okay, so moving on to the poutine now. Maybe you can offer Apache some redemption here. First of all, I hate this type of packaging for poutines because when you have these flaps and when you're eating, the flaps kind of get in your way and you get gravy all over your hands. So it's kind of annoying. I don't know why they just didn't keep the styrofoam, but I'm just being picky here. So these are definitely the perfect fries for the poutine. These nice thick cut fries. There's a good amount of gravy and also a pretty generous amount of cheese curds. definitely needs a lot more salt I almost feel like they completely forgot it otherwise this probably would have been a pretty decent poutine i mean it's just a few ingredients to make it what's really disappointing is that the owner was there today i understand that sometimes restaurants are busy crowded they have a lot of orders but there's zero excuse for that today so unfortunately i'm gonna have to give them another three star rating kind of happy i didn't get the grape drink or the milkshake actually because i don't know if i can take any more disappointment today so for my final review i'm gonna leave apache with a three star rating now there is some positive news in all of this i feel like they can go from about a a three star rating to a four to four and a half star rating very very easily By implementing some of the changes i'm going to recommend for them in terms of cleanliness and design and vibe i think they're totally fine parking is never an issue it's spacious it even looks like they let you eat in it if you want smash burgers have become really popular in the area in recent years like the burgers priest and another one i won't mention because i'm going to review them one day i'm just waiting for the certain time of the month but all of these burger joints have freshly ground beef every day i feel like this is an absolute must they've got the history they've got the vibe they got the name 
I do love the fact that they've stayed authentic and they haven't tried too hard to change so many things, but the reality is you just have to upgrade something, like get Square or something to start accepting credit card and debit cards for crying out loud. Some of the menu items like the chicken burger and the steak on the Kaiser are a little bit of an afterthought. You also have the chicken fingers that are frozen and I don't think anyone's ever ordered them before. You can make the menu smaller if needed, make it even simpler than it is, which would be better than having a bad review for something that someone ate at your restaurant. And it seems like the expressions that you see on the cooks and the owner kind of reflects on the food as well. So to sum it up, I still think Apache Burger has a lot of great potential. I don't believe this was their best day. I'm going to leave this review for them. Hopefully they make some of the changes I mentioned. And if they don't, then the same thing is going to happen to them that's been happening to all the other businesses here. <laughs>